Okay. Uh, welcome to tonight's uh, meeting. Uh, it looks like we have uh, a full house online and uh, and eight people here uh, in uh, the community center. Our next meeting is a program by uh, Rick Garrity. Um, and he's a noted uh, photographer for, uh, I think he's with Tamron now, uh, but he's originally from the uh, Cranford area. And depending on what his travel situation looks like, I will let everybody know well in advance whether it's the meeting next time is just on Zoom or if it's both Zoom and here at the community center. So be sure to check your emails when I send them out. And that is uh, November, November 4th. Now, if the meeting is both here and on Zoom, uh, we'll be doing the voting on the amendments that night. If not, we'll do the voting on the amendments, the meeting after that. Now, which shocks me, the holiday party is not that far off. Um, and I'm gonna try to get the uh, 50-50s out early this year, um, along with all the other 85 things that I'm doing. And now tonight we have our competition and the competition is uh, made up of the assigned subject is shadows and our normal open. And our judge tonight is David Unger and we'll get started with our competition. Can people hear me? Yes. I can hear you, David. Okay, excellent. Oh, did it backwards. You always do that. Can you hear me, Bill? Yes, they answered. Assign B, shadows. Assign to walk. Very nice. Certainly fits the subject. Uh, I like the, the, the three different shapes and the uh, grid of the bricks in the background. Uh, nicely processed, seven. Mass M-O-C-A. Again, clearly gets hits the subject. Uh, I, I, I like the way the maker captured the uh, light coming in through the windows. Uh, I think the the writing on the right in, in, in the in the red uh, adds to the uh, impact of the image. Uh, it's nicely in focus from the front to the back. So I think that uh, a lot of care was taken in making this image seven. Morning. Well, I believe it's morning. Um, uh, again, clearly fits the subject. Uh, the shadows are nice and sharp. Uh, an interesting capture, actually. Uh, I like the, the the texture of the bark on the trees, and it's nicely exposed. I think the 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 part of the shadows being black actually adds to the impact of the image. Uh, seven. Shadow for three. Uh, I guess the basketball is number three. 
uh, I don't see any other shadows there. Again, a, a great capture. Uh, uh, someone was working hard at the at the at the subject. Uh, a little bit bright on the upper right hand corner, but uh, I think still a, a an impactful shot. Uh, seven. World turned shadow on the beach. Uh, two two good shadows in this case. Uh, I like the shadow under the bird and the shadow under the beak. And interestingly enough, the shadow under the beak points to the shadow under the bird. So they've been working uh, well with uh, redirection. Uh, and, and the sand, I think, uh, adds to this, makes the very white color of the sand uh, adds to the impact of this. Seven. Behind bars. Interesting, simple. Um, uh, I, I like the diagonal aspect. It, it makes it more dynamic. Uh, the texture is interesting on this as well. Seven. Sydney NSW. That's interesting if that's Sydney NSW and NSW stands for New South Wales because that's not the way they spell Sydney. Now, I can be corrected. It may be Sydney somewhere else, in which case I'm wrong. Uh, but NSW, I think, is New South Wales. Having grown up uh, about a thousand miles from there, uh, not in Australia, but in New Zealand. Um, th this one, uh, I think, is a, is, is a very nice picture. I'm afraid the shadows don't um, add a whole lot to it. Um, I think it's 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 a nice picture, but the shadows are, are coming through the railings and the shadows lower in the path don't um, make you look at the picture and think, oh, it's about shadows and the shadows helping the impact. Nice picture, but uh, I'm going to give it a six. Where are you? I guess, I guess there is a bit of a shadow to the left, and maybe that's a shadow in behind it. It's a little hard to tell. Um, yeah, I, the very black uh, uh, area directly below the middle point may be a shadow, but I don't think so. It looks more like part of the structure. So the shadow is just the um, part of the image, and it's le probably less than 10% of it to the lower left. So I don't think the shadow has that much impact or adds a whole lot. So I'm going to give this one a six. Long legs. Wow. They are long legs. <laughs> I do. I, I, I also try to like taking photographs of my own shadow. Uh, but... Uh, and it's interesting, the shadow is a little to the blue, uh, but definitely captures the subject uh, matter of shadows. And, and, and I, 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 uh, I like it. I, I think that it, this one has a lot of impact. Seven. Security Jeep shadow in D.C. at Lincoln, Mo Mo Lincoln Monument. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I guess, hmm, I guess that is the Lincoln Memorial. I don't know. I'm not going to give an opinion on that. Um, definitely, there's a shadow. I think it it uh, uh, meets the criteria. Uh, I, I just don't think. I mean, if I looked at this picture, I wouldn't go, "Wow, look at the shadow." What does it add? You tend to look at the little truck and maybe the background of the tree and the monument. So. Just, just due to the lack of impact, it, it's a nicely taken picture. Everything looks in focus, uh, nicely composed. The truck's a little cramped, but I, otherwise, I, I think just because the shadow doesn't have as much impact, six. Built more. Ah, been there, haven't taken that picture. 
excellent use of shadows. Uh, the, the, the trellises are, are wonderful to make shadows and the person who took this made great use of that. Uh, the, the, I quite like also the person in the picture because it adds scale. Uh, seven. Meeting the shadow. Hmm. Oh, oh, I see what it is now. <laughs> I couldn't work it out. Okay, for those of you that aren't, are, are quicker than me, if you look to the left, there's a bird, and uh, what you're actually seeing is the shadow of the bird that's to the left, uh, which actually is a wonderful capture. Uh, uh, I, you wonder whether the bird's flying vertically or horizontally, and uh, if if it was, if if I had to opine on how to make it better, I would have made the bird a little bit bigger, but I wasn't there, and obviously that's hard to do, certainly in post, uh, if you didn't get it originally in the picture, but it it definitely has a lot of impact. Uh, and seven. All right. Here we go. Like the shapes, eight. Eight. Nine. Eight. Eight. Seven. Nine. Nine. Yeah, this is definitely a nine. <laughs> Sign B shadows, honorable mention. Sign to walk, Bill Hansen. Mass MOCA, Margot Partridge. Shadow for three, Bill Daughtry. World turned shadow on the beach, Francine Silver. Now equal merit, morning, Wayne Quinto. Long Legs, Bill Daughtry. Biltmore, Margot Partridge. Meeting the Shadow, Wayne Quinto. All righty. Signed A, Shadows. Shadows on the Bridge Deck. You guys are good at shadows. This is another interesting capture of different shapes. Uh, I, I again like the angulation of it running across the frame, uh, the uh, white uh, stroke around the edge also I think highlights this one, seven. Boo. <laughs> <clears throat> this is a Halloween themed picture. Uh, certainly captures the theme. Uh, the head, the shadow, you know, it's interesting. You look at these things and you say, oh, it's a little out of focus. But I mean, why should a shadow be a perfect focus? Uh, I, I think that uh, this is nicely captured. Seven. Shadows of us. You look at this and you wonder, how the heck did they make that? Uh, I assume that this is a shadow. Uh, it doesn't look like a silhouette because uh, it's too crinkly on the edges. If it is a shadow, this is pretty exceptional. Seven. 
palm tree leaves. Nice. The, the, the three uh, upper leaves are not cut off. The uh, uh, brickwork adds to the change of texture. The shadows are nice and black. Uh, so it's nicely processed. Uh, seven. Hey, Judge. <laughs> hey, Judge. This is. <laughs> I don't know about this one. No, <laughs> uh, that's interesting. Uh, you know, now it's getting personal. <laughs> Could be a bat fan. Could be, uh, yeah, I guess. But wouldn't they call it "Hey, um"? Oh, oh, Aaron Judge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Okay, I'll assume it's "Hey, Aaron Judge." Not quite sure why he's doing that expression for Aaron Judge, but. Uh, Excellent capture of of the subject seven, and it, it is a it is a good image. Shadows on the up ramp. Um, technically, I think this is nice. I I I can't quite work it. I can't quite work out the subject and the shadow. Or well, these are all shadows. Uh. Tricky. Nicely captured shadows, though, seven. Shadows on the wall. And another nicely proportioned photograph with uh, it's sort of got a third, a third, a third going left to right and up and down. Uh, and and I, I like the way it, it has very dark black shadows, uh, lighter blue shadows by the blue wall, and gray shadows by the brownish floor. Uh, let's have a look at it, this again, seven. Shadows at the blacksmith shop. Interesting angle. Uh, the shadows, I assume, come from the roof or from a window. Um, they certainly highlight the material in the blacksmith shop. Uh, the, the barrel and the piece of material is a little too close to the edge, but I still think it's an impactful picture. Certainly that's not part of the shadow issue. Uh, seven. <laughs> Uh, eight. Eight. The, the, this is amazingly, uh, I, I think it is shadows because if it was silhouette, you wouldn't see the white bits on the tree trunks. So nine. I like the, again, the different uh, textures, nine. Eight. Seven. There's a lot of interesting contrasts, nine in this one. I'm going to go with nine again in this. The shadows really add to the story. All righty. Signed A shadows. Honorable mention shadows on the bridge deck. Wendy Kapolitz. Who? Jim Chilean. Hey, Judge, Tim Schwann. <laughs> Equal merit, Shadows of Us, Wendy Milligan. Palm Tree Leaves, Wendy Kapolitz. 
Shadows on the Wall, Wendy Kaplitz. Shadows at the Blacksmith Shop, Wendy Milligan. All righty. Now, this is going to be a quick one. This is a salon class, right? Yes. Sign salon, shadows. String along shadow. Uh, nicely captured. Uh, great shadow. Uh, you know, I, I think this is uh, very nicely done. Uh, it, and I like the way they, they're sort of pointing back to the focal point in the middle left. Both of them are. Um, seven. Shadows all around. Definitely has shadows, um, uh, meets the criteria. Uh, the, sh the shadows are not quite as impactful as some of the others. However, I don't think. Um, uh, I like the shadows under the uh, uh, decks or, or, or the floors going up. Uh, have one more look at it, seven. Shadows on steel stack steps. Hmm. Oh, I see now. <laughs> for, the, for those that can't see, and maybe I shouldn't be explaining other people's pictures, the very black areas are in between the steel. They're not shadows. The shadows are actually the lighter uh, steel color. This is actually a very clever picture. Uh, the way the shadows have captured uh, the, the steps. And, and in, in between the steps, you can see that it's very black. It's a bit like a zebra picture. Uh, seven. Shadows in the sand. Great use of shadows. Uh, I, the, the maker decided to cut the stakes off at a relatively low height, which I don't think is such a bad decision because it sort of highlights the length of the shadows, presuming, presumably in the morning sun uh, on the New Jersey shore, but who knows? And that doesn't matter. Uh, seven. Okay. Nine, seven, nine. I'm sorry, it's a nine. I shouldn't say I'm sorry, but they were they were great. That all three of them. Sign Salon Shadows, Equal Merit, String Along Shadows, Charlene Federitz. Shadow on Steel Stack Steps, Ellen Stein. Shadows in the Sand, Charlene Federitz. Okay, now for the opens. Open. Open B. Crows. Yes. No shadows. I know it's not a criteria here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a good capture of crows. I like the crows in the trees, and I like the, the way the crows are dark black, and the uh, branches are a much lighter color to the brown, yet the, the, the sky in the background is white. Um, I assume that it, that's not all just processing. I, I think it really adds to the impact of the picture. Uh, seven. Ground feeding cardinal. Um, I think I think this is a nice capture of a cardinal. Uh, a couple of minor things. Uh, 
I, I, I wouldn't have uh, the, cut the tail off. The, the little bit of the tail is cut off behind the cardinal. The other thing is that um, uh, the cardinal, th there's a lot more space in front of the cardinal than behind it. Uh, it would be nice if you had positioned it a little bit better so that it was more, you always want to have more room in the front than behind, but you don't want it quite this far back. Um, uh, and, and, and I think you could do some work with the uh, saturation on, on, on the color of the uh, cardinal itself. Uh, but have another look at it, seven. How about a hug? <laughs> Good title. Uh, nice capture of the wings. Uh, I, I, the, you, you've also got the eye, which is important. And, and it, it's beautifully placed in the frame. Uh, nothing's clipped. Um, seven. Rainbow after the storm heading home. Uh, it, 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 that, that's nice. It is hard to capture rainbows. Uh, the rainbow is a relatively small part of the picture. But even still, it, it is a very distinct rainbow. Uh, and, and, and there's other colors that uh, make the picture more vibrant. Seven. Couple of goats. Uh, very clean cars. I assume goat in this case is greatest of all time. Uh, could be. I don't know. Not an expert of cars like this beautifully conditioned nicely captured uh i quite like the two cars the the front of the two cars sort of contrast each other by being relatively close together seven fishing in norway Good capture, like the birds. Um, uh, one of the things, it, it, it often makes a picture a little more pleasing if it doesn't appear that it's going out of the frame. This one has a bit of a tendency to look like it's going out of the frame because there's more behind than there is in front. So it's often good to have a little bit more in front than behind. Though the wake of the boat may have been you know, very impressive, and hence the person wanted to capture that, uh, which which is an interesting uh, competition. Uh, but but I think a, a very nice capture seven. Precipice. Certainly is. Um, can't tell if that's one or two people. Can you tell on the, uh... no, it's hard to tell. One? Two. Two, yeah. Uh, definitely a precipice. Brave. <laughs> Wouldn't want to go to the edge. I think the fog adds to this picture. Uh, seven. Brand's Dahlia. Hmm. It's a great capture of a flower. Uh, well positioned. <clears throat> Being in the left third makes it more dynamic. The leaves to the right uh, add to the both the placement and to the color variation. The uh, flower is very nice and sharp from the front to the back. Uh, great flower, seven. Jack-o'-lantern. I wonder what it's doing there. Good placement. N nice. N I, I like it. Uh, that, someone spent a lot of time carving that. That doesn't 
add or subtract to the score. <laughs> but uh, that is a good jack-o'-lantern, uh, especially the nose. How did they do those little round bits? Uh, but it, it, it's a nice capture of the lantern as well. And and the, the way the water comes down underneath the lantern, it's so, the jack-o'-lantern, it certainly highlights it and makes uh, the whole image much more uh, impressive. Uh, seven. Falcon portrait. Mm. Very nice. Um, I'm trying to see if I can see the photographer in the uh, reflection in the eye, but I can't. I believe the photographer's there. <laughs> uh, yeah, everything is very sharp. Uh, uh, the, 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 the feathers around the beak are great. Uh, it's an excellent capture. Um, seven. Just finished my bath. A, a very nice little little bird um, study. Uh, I think there's still water dripping off its tail, which certainly keeps with the just finished the bath theme. Uh, one could complain that the bird should be in the left third, but they they I mean the right third. But it, it, I quite like the placement where he or she that's the bird is. Uh, because it captures the the bath, and so you really capture the whole uh, story. So this one really does tell a good story, I think. Uh, seven. The afternoon coffee in Buenos Aires. Can't tell it's in Buenos Aires, but I believe you. Um, I, I like the different shapes. I like the people contrasting with the different shapes. The The one thing that I don't like is the way the woman is cut off. Um, it, 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 as your eye immediately goes to the man and the woman, in particular the woman, because she's got a bright green uh, top on. And so your eye is drawn there. And then you go, hmm, I wonder why she's cut off. And she is cut off. So I think that detracts from the picture. Six. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nine. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Seven. Eight. Nine. Nine. Wow. <laughs> I hate this. Nine. <laughs> this tells a good story, but it's not as impactful a picture. Eight. Open B. Honorable mention. How about a hug? Bill Daughtry. Rainbow after the storm heading home, Francine Silver. Precipice, Wayne Quinto. Just finished my bath, Edward Schulman. Equal merit, Crows, Wayne Quinto. Couple of goats, Bill Hansen. Franz Dahlia, Edward Schulman. Jack o' lantern. Margot Partridge. Falcon Portrait, Wayne Quinto. OK. 
Okay, open A. Open A. Church ceiling in Great Britain. Wow, th th this is nicely captured. Uh, everything is very symmetric, which is often, I think, is 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 a is a big plus in capturing these things looking up. Uh, nice color, nice uh, uh, processing. Seven. The leaves past their prime. Nice limbs focus. The, the the white background highlights the leaves. Uh, good placement in the frame. Uh, the leaves are past their prime. Uh, seven. Got it. Gladiolus. It, it is a nice capture of a flower. The one thing that um, I, I don't like as much is the, uh, the, the the lower part of it, uh, which is the, the, the bigger part of the flower, is very much in shadow, which uh, I don't think adds to the impact of the image. I think the brightest parts are sort of the secondary flowers in the uh, upper half, which are not as impactful as the lower flower, which if it was brighter and drew your eye to it immediately, I think would make a more impactful picture. Uh, it's not a bad picture, but I, I'm going to give it a six. Aerial view, Red Rock Canyon. Good capture. Nice shadows. <laughs> Not a shadow picture, I know, I know. Uh, good amount of sky, and I like the trail. Uh, and it's nicely processed. Um, seven. The church window. Beautifully symmetric. Nice colors. Maybe it's a tad too bright, but uh, it's it's at least to my eye from here. Uh, beautiful image. Looks like it's written in Latin on the bottom, so it's obviously an old church. Seven. Ghost Rider Night Show. Hmm. It's always interesting, these pictures. How did the person get it? Was the plane flying upside down, or were they above it? Or were they up high somewhere, and they were able to look down? This is, this is one case, and I know judges harp on this all the time, that it would be nice to have a bit of a white line around it, so you can see where the end of it is in the front which with the black on the black, you really can't see. Um, the colors are good. Let's have another look at it, seven. Always choose the bright side. <laughs> good capture of a hummingbird. Uh, very white. Uh, I assume the picture in, well, I'm not sure what that line is above the- uh, That's the screen. Oh, it's the screen. Okay, I apologize. <laughs> Can't judge the screen. It happens all the time. It does? Yes. Oh, okay. You know, I was wondering, what, what is that line? Yeah, no, this, this is an interesting capture. It is tough capturing hummingbirds. The eye is nice and sharp, as is the hummingbird. Um, seven. The castle. It 
an interesting castle. My my only feeling is to make it more impressive. I wasn't there, so I can't judge entirely. But if you captured some more of the fence, if that's a fence, or more of the castle, if that's the castle, in the lower um, edge of the picture, I think that that would make it potentially more impactful. I imagine this goes pretty high, but it's hard to tell from the picture whether that the framing whether in that is indeed the case. Uh, the sky, I think, is nice. That uh, There's texture in the sky. It's not a bright blue sky, but it's got texture in it. Let's look at it again. Seven. P51 climbing. Ah, someone was at an air show, or multiple people. That's a really good picture of a, of a, a, a stunt plane. Uh, the, the, the cloud is great. Beautifully in focus, nicely placed in the frame. Seven. Nine. Eight. Nine, eight, nine, eight. What? Seven. Nine. Open A. Honorable mention. The leaves past their prime. Wendy Capulets. The church window. Wendy Capulets. Always choose the bright side, Wendy Milligan. Equal merit, church ceiling in Great Britain, Wendy Milligan. Aerial view, Red Rock Canyon, Wendy Milligan. Ghost Rider Night Show, Al Faguccio. P51 climbing, Al Faguccio. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Finally, open salon. Tightly held pedal pedals. It was a great shot. I like the little stamen or the the yellow bits. Uh, that's always a, a challenge to get those and to get them in focus and to get the depth of field so they're in focus and the petals seven. Fanta Fanta. Don't understand the title, but that's fine. Uh, looks, it's the Fanta color, but uh, maybe there's a lizard called Fanta. Uh, too bad you can't see an eye, but a, a, a great capture, seven. Hitching a ride. Technically, it's beautifully positioned. Uh, the the uh, mother or father swan uh, has lots of detail, as do the two, uh, I'm not even sure what you call baby swans. Swanets? Signets, you're right, signets. Uh, and, and, and you can see all their eyes, which adds to the uh, impact of the image. I like the fact that the mother or father a probably a mother is is got a water dribbling out of her nose or out of her beak seven glory rays
interesting photo. Um, without the title, you may not have noticed the glory rays. Uh, I like the, the shape of the uh, water in the foreground. Uh, though I, I would have cut it off a little bit just to make the the landscape a bit bigger in the image. Uh, but let's have another look at it, seven. Water lily. Another excellent capture of a lily. Uh, it's sharp from front to back. The uh, uh, greenery around it adds to the contrast tends to highlight the color, uh, beautifully uh, positioned in the frame. Uh, no, I think it, it, it's a nicely executed shot, seven. Daddy long legs. Great reflection. Uh, does look like a spider or daddy long legs. Uh, it's the sort of thing that you see after a hurricane has been knocked down. Beautiful. The, the sky is a good capture as well. The, the, the colors in the sky and the structure add to the image. Seven. Dahlia trash abstract. An interesting capture, lovely colors. Uh, don't understand the trash comment, but uh, that's fine. Uh, you know, I, I think this is a well executed picture. Seven. Golden Arrow Pier. I, I, I assume that that is looking down and, and you're seeing water in behind the rocks. It, it doesn't, that isn't sky uh, all the way. Not that that should impact the picture, but I'm just wondering what it is. Um, it, ha it has a, a beautiful eerie feeling to it. I like the way there's light on the left-hand side of each of the rocks, or at least except the leftmost one. Uh, well executed, seven. Monarch butterfly. Beautifully in focus. The uh, flower ha has a lovely contrast in color to the oranges and the wings of the butterfly. Uh, <clears throat> nothing's clipped seven nest building interesting little squirrel full of activity busy uh, nice positioning I mean the uh, the, with, with whoever it was got low to the squirrel or the rock is high. No, uh, yeah, and 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 the front of the squirrel is in good sharp focus, as is the eye. The back of the squirrel's a little bit out of focus, but I think that's fine. Uh, the rock is in focus as well. Seven, good positioning of the squirrel. Box in the road. <laughs> Oh, I hope they stopped. <laughs> that th th this picture has a lot of impact because of the uh, the way the fox is looking dead at you. Uh, I also like the kind of tangled position of the fox's legs, uh, and and it's. It's nicely positioned in the frame. Seven. Golden Wilderness. 
I wonder where that is. Um, regardless, uh, the, the brown of the tussock or whatever it is on the ground is uh, well captured. The shingle or the the gravel on the hillside in the distance, I think also adds to the impact and the color of the sky uh, and the contrast of that to the hills uh, makes it an interesting uh, image, seven. Great caption, nine. Wonderful looking little lizard. Nine. Oh, nine. Seven. Nine. Nine. Eight. Eight. Nine. 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 Eight. Open salon. Honorable mention. Diatris abstract. Ellen Stein. Golden Arrow Pier. Lenny McDonald. Golden Wilderness. Lenny McDonald. Equal merit, tightly held pedals, Charlene Federowitz. Fanta Fanta, Arlene Sopanzetti. Hitching a Ride, Ellen Stein. Water Lily, Charlene Federowitz. Daddy Long Lanes, Arlene Sopanzetti. Monarch Butterfly, Charlene Federowitz. Nest Building, Arlene Sopanzetti. Fox in the Road, Ellen Stein. That's tonight. Excellent photos. What can I say? Does anyone online have any questions for our judge? No questions. Thanks, David. Are you talking, Lenny? We can't hear you. Oh, I just no no question. Just thank you. Thank you for judging. Anybody else have any questions? No, but thank you for judging. Love the judge's sense of humor. Okay, if nobody has any questions, I'll say good night to everybody online. Good night. Good night. Good night.